Have you ever had a Bible study method taught to you or tried one out in your own quiet time that was so complex you were just like, I, I, I got nothing from this. This was worse than when I just read the Bible. And you were just like, I just want something simple, something easy, something I could walk away and be like, God, I understand God better because I, I did this method when I read my Bible. Well, today we're going to talk about one. And it's all it is is three questions. It's called the sword method. And to start off the three questions, right, are what does this passage teach me about God? What does this passage teach me about people? And what does this passage tell me to do? So easily, first question, what does this passage teach me about God? This book, the Bible, is about God. It's God's story. Don't trip. This isn't about you. This book is not about you. It's not about other people. It's about God. So each passage can teach us about God, his character, how he acts, who he is, his love for us, his plan for humanity. There's so much in here that can teach us about God. So we ask when we read a passage, what is this passage teaching me about God? Directly or indirectly, what is it telling me? And then we ask, obviously, the second question, what does this passage teach me about people? This could be just people in general. It could be evil people, sinful people. It could be characters in the actual story. It could also be about who God's people should be. It could also teach us about ourselves in some ways, that, that like some tendencies that we may have that we see in the passage that we need to keep ourselves from. So we look, what does this passage teach me about people? And then we ask, finally, what does this passage tell me to do? So when we ask this question, we're looking at it and saying, this word is to be applied. And I want to walk away from my time with God knowing Today, I can live out something that I read in Scripture. And so when we walk away, we're going out to then live this out. So we say, what does this passage call me to live? And then we go and do it. So then you can walk away with your time with God, knowing God better, knowing humanity better and people better, and also knowing what you need to do to live more like Christ. If you want to see me go through a passage using the sword method, then watch my next video. I'll leave a card for it at the end. But thank you so much for watching. If it was helpful to you that this may be something that you would use in your own Bible study, leave a like and a comment if you just have been stressed out by so many other Bible study methods. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing as we're going to try to provide practical advice and videos to help people live out their faith more effectively. Thank you so much and thank you for being here. Bye.